Alright guys, so it's about 5.45 <clears throat> I had to do a few errands today uh, Really early this morning um, So I'm going to go in here to Walmart and check out See if they have anything Which I'm pretty sure they don't I think these are the clearance ones over here. Oh man. It's uh, pretty expensive. This one's not too bad, I don't think. Oh man. I guess this is the clearance bin where they just threw, threw a bunch of games in one place. So this is what Walmart, I don't really dislike that Walmart. So they have a ton of games and they just Throw them in a bin, but they're still in a little price, so you think they're on clearance, but they're actually not. It's really, it's kind of strange, actually. So, oh well. I might go to another Walmart today, I don't know. Do you know anyone like to tell me why the PlayStation 2 version of ACDC Live is less than the PS3 version? Go figure.
some very expensive stuff here. I think we all know why it's expensive. Look, are these the only games you have down here? Yeah. Uh, what kind of games you look for? Just any kind of games. How much uh, How much are these down here? Okay, we're going to take a look at them. I think that can also take a look at that blue one right up there. Mm -hmm. All right. How much are these going to be? Do you know? Uh, this one is 15. 15? Yeah. Uh, any, this is fine. Five for any of these? Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know about that. Doing good. Um, is this all the games you guys have over here? Okay. What is going on guys? This is Toguy here. Um, I haven't made a video in a long time because I had a sore throat. I didn't want you guys uh, hearing my sore throat in this video so I kind of had to wait a while. But in the meantime I got a ton of pickups and some really cool stories to tell you guys. Um, so alright, I'll get started. Some of the uh, just single finds I had would be uh, Halo, the original soundtrack. I found this at a thrift store for like a dollar, and I couldn't get it on video because it's just one item. But it comes with the uh, soundtrack right here, and then, well, if I can keep it on here, and then the uh, DVD, bonus DVD right there. So it comes with both of those. That's pretty neat. Also got Super Mario History. Um, it's came out when the Wii came out, and so it's a CD with some Mario songs on it, some Mario themes. comes with a really neat uh, booklet with, it's been, uh, it's not stapled, so it's, it's, an, it's a legit book. So that was really cool, really cool to find. The thing was like $2. And I got like ACDC, uh, Rock Band, Track Pack, this is sealed, it's never been opened before for like $2 at Walmart. So, there's those. 
Next stuff up, um, I think I paid like $10 for all these. These are Nintendo 64 cartridges, and these are just some to add to lots and stuff. I think $10 for all these is really cool. Uh, Wave Race 64, if you can see that, Wave Race 64, Revolt, Wheel of Fortune, which is probably like the most non-expensive one in here. 1080 snowboarding. This one's really heavy. So, and then Aero Fighters Assault. So I paid ten dollars for all those Nintendo 64 games, which is really awesome. All right. Uh, next up, I um, I went by the Asbury Community Thrift Store again, and uh, I bought some really really neat stuff. I got Lego Star Wars for the original Xbox, just the disc version, so that's really awesome. I think I paid like a dollar for that. I also got a Paper Mario Sicker Stars for the 3DS, and uh, Mario Strikers Charge uh, for the Wii. I think I paid two bucks for each of those, so I'm now up to like five dollars. And then something that's it's kind of video game related, but not really. I found uh, a Star Wars uh, card set. I'll show you guys right here if I don't bump into the camera. But it's got three decks of cards. And um, but the weird thing about this is, is that it's by Cart Mondays, so it made a special. Uh, this is like a special edition. There's only five thousand of these, so this is four thousand three hundred and fourteen. I don't think you can see it because the camera's not zoomed in. But uh, this is a, like a special edition kind of thing. And it's, uh, I, I've never really seen one of these before, so it was really awesome. I paid like $3 for this, and they can go for maybe 20 or 30 online. Depends. Yeah, that was really awesome. I'm probably going to keep that. Alright, the next one. Um, this one was off camera. As I spill everything. Um, this one was also a thrift store. And some of these were really cool. Um... Alright, so I got a Diablo and Diablo 2 for the PC. And Diablo comes with the first disc, just the one disc. It comes, it's just the one disc. And Diablo 2 comes with, oops, all the discs. Comes with all four. And the fourth one is the soundtrack. So, Anyways, the fourth one is the soundtrack, so I can put that on my computer and listen to it anytime I want. The next one, uh, well actually the rest of these from this store are going to be sealed. They're going to be all sealed games. Um, and they're all Star Wars related, so the first one is Star Wars Battlefront 2. This one's sealed. I got it for the PC. And then I got four Star Wars Jedi Knight Academies. All for the PC. They're all the same game. Uh, these, uh, brand new, can go for upwards of $10 online somewhere. So, those are really cool to find. And I think I paid maybe somewhere, like, I think I paid 20 bucks for all the Diablo and Star Wars games in this lot. So, it was really awesome. Alright, um, on to more PC games, though. I went to buy another thrift store. And I, I did get some, uh, I did get some console games. So I'll show those right now. Uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars for the Xbox as well as Tetris Worlds. The disc is kind of scratched, but that's alright. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Sonic Mega Collection for the PS2. And then one of the weirder ones, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, also known as 006, for the PS3. So that was really cool. I haven't played this one yet, so I might give it a try. And the rest of these are going to be PC games. So, for a dollar each, picked up Fallout 3. I already have the expansion pack for this, so I'm just going to bundle them together and do something with it. Um, really cool, the orange box for PC, which is really neat because these, these have a bunch of games in one. I think they have, like, let's see at the back. The best deal in video game history right there, yeah, because it comes with several games on it. So that one's, if you can find it, I would suggest playing it. Alright, and uh, now I've got Elder Scrolls 4. 
but uh, I got Shivering Isles, and this one comes with, um, this one's just the expansion pack, the Shivering Isles disc, but Elder Scrolls IV Knights of the Nine comes with a copy of Oblivion in it, so it's like buying, uh, for $2 I basically bought Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion and then two expansion packs on, on the PC, which is really awesome. All right, next and the last one, these three games, really happy to see these. Um, these are all Baldur's Gate games. So I got Baldur's Gate 1, Tales of the Sword Coast. So I'm not really sure how expensive Baldur's Gate games are, but I know that they are kind of sought after. I got um, Baldur's Gate 2, the Collector's Edition, Shadows of Ammon. Am something like that. So it comes with all four games in there. Disc four, disc one, two. And then there's a Baldur's Gate 2 Throne of Veil vale, um, expansion pack. It just comes with this one disc though. I don't know where the other one went. There's not it's not there. So this is just the second disc. Or the final chapter disc. So those were all really fun, cool to find for a dollar each. Um, this next one though, I had a friend that went on a trip for me. They were going on a trip and they said, hey, you want me to pick up some stuff for you? And I said, oh sure, you can, you can pick up for me whatever you want. And so um, they basically bought uh, these four games for $20. And some of these games are, are really amazing. Plus, they got an extra bonus deal. So, uh, for $20 for console games, we got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It's just a disc only copy for the original Xbox. We got the orange box for the Xbox 360. So, it's really strange. You're going to see two orange boxes in this episode, complete with a manual and the disc. Final Fantasy X, which is a really common game. And it's complete, so that's alright. And then, probably cake on the icing, Silent Hill 2 for the PS2. This is complete. The disc looks like it's, it's kind of scratched, so um, it's okay. I think it still works, though. So, Silent Hill 2. And then all of the rest of these games that you're going to see here, they're all, or most of them, are PC games that they threw in free with the purchase. So not only did he get good games for $20, he also got... All these basically just thrown in there and I'm gonna go through some of these real fast because they're the some of our Mac games are in stuff like that so I got warrior warrior Kings for Mac Legion for Mac civilization 4 for Mac all right now quest for glory for PC another Diablo for PC Star Wars Episode 1, Phantom Menace for PC, Silver for PC, and then SimCity 3000 for PC. Now the rest of these, these three are pretty good. Uh, some of these are actually kind of valuable online. Uh, Zeus Master of Olympus for PC, uh, Pharaoh, Build a Kingdom, Rule the Nile, Live Forever on PC. And then this is the only one that's not PC that I got. Uh, it's a PS1 game. If you, can, you can probably already tell what it is. It's Spawn the Eternal for PS1. And that's actually a really cool game. Uh, it's kind of missing the front cover of the manual. Someone must have like torn it off or something. But for, for free, I really can't complain. That's really awesome right there. You guys also might see in the footage that I did go by the game store in the mall and I traded in a lot of stuff so the stuff that I accumulated over previous episodes and I'm gonna show off everything that I got uh, first off I'm gonna show you guys that I got a weird cable a Dreamcast controller adapter to GameCube you can now play your Dreamcast controller on your GameCube I didn't know this was possible so there's that little tiny cord I also got the Xbox DVD Playback remote sealed. Never been opened before. 
I also got another copy of Shaq Fu, but this one's for the Super Nintendo, so I can get rid of my Genesis one because that one keeps messing up on me and won't play for some reason. I wonder why. So there's there's Shaq Fu. The rest of these games are now Disc Z games. So we're coming up with Wii Sports. Always find and pick up Wii Sports if you can, because there's such people actually want to play Wii Sports. It's one of the the better games on the Wii. Is Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants. SpongeBob SquarePants the movie for the GameCube. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman for the GameCube. And then SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom for the GameCube. Um, I've already talked about this game in many, many episodes. Always pick it up if you can. Great game, great resale value, just amazing deal if you can find it. Still on the GameCube, I've got uh, Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition promotional disc. Uh, it just comes with the disc, so. But, it's really neat to find. Mario Kart Double Dash. This is a not for resale version on the back, as you can see right there. Not for resale. Um, I probably already have one of these, and the mat or the cover art is in awful condition. Um, so, it, it is complete with a manual and. The game, but the cover art is horrendously like water damage, so I'll be selling that off as well as Pokemon Coliseum, not for resale down there. Um, this one has a lot of holes in it and a lot of damage to the cover as well as being water damaged. So uh, this one just comes with the little slip right there. So I'm probably gonna be selling some of those off. And uh, we also got Time Splitters, Future Perfect for the GameCube. You can always find this game. It's a good resale value. Uh, it's really high up there. It's much, much, much more expensive than the PlayStation 2 version. I'll tell you that. So if you see it, you can pick it up. I always would. And then the one that I've been looking for forever, and now I finally have it, is Warrior World for the GameCube. I've been looking for this game forever and have never been able to find it. And now I've found it. So that's really good. And the bonus is it's complete with all the inserts and the manual. So there's that. Alright, now to the PlayStation 2 games. I got uh, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. SpongeBob SquarePants The Movie. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Again, really good game. And then Lego Star Wars, the video game, all for PS2. These are going to be bundled. Some of these are going to be like in bundles and are going to be sold off in bundles. So that's what that's going to be. And then all the Xbox games you see here, as I drop everything, all the Xbox games you see here are now going to be Star Wars games. So be prepared to, to see the amazing beauty of what I'm about to show you. All right. Um... So I got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic again. So I've got two of this episode. Uh, it's just the disc and the little card right here. But really good. Um, uh, the Lego Star Wars, the original trilogy with the manual. So I'll probably be keeping this one and getting rid of my other one. Uh, the one I will be keeping also is Star Wars Jedi Outcast. Uh, this is Jedi Knight 2. I don't have this one, so I'm going to keep it. That's really cool. And then, one of the most expensive ones, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the Xbox. Complete. Really happy to see this. And so, there's that. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Uh, out in Scottsboro, there is a place called the Unclaimed Baggage Center. And what they do is they take unclaimed baggage and they put everything out in these unclaimed baggage out in the store. You can find anything in this store, literally. I I had I took maybe like an eight second video because I wanted to get what I was gonna get, and you're gonna see amazing stuff in this in this pickup. The first thing that I found was an like an action replay DSI for like two dollars. So there's that. I'm just gonna clear off this spot right here so I can set some stuff down. Action replay for DSI. Um. Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Advance 4 for the Game Boy. The next thing um, is a sealed GameCube memory card for, and I think it was like $2.
amazing. I'm gonna be keeping this one, and it's the 1019 ca uh, memory card too. So I'm gonna be just keeping this somewhere for uh, collector's sake. The next three games are Pokemon games, and I paid like three dollars each for these these games. So up first, I've got Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Red, which is kind of you know label's kind of worn, but that's okay. And then Pokemon Fire Red, and wow, I can't tell you, I paid twenty like twenty two dollars for all of this, all of this, the three Pokemon games, the DSi, the GameCube game, or not the GameCube, the GameCube memory card, and then I got like another pair of shorts that was like four dollars. All of this for like twenty dollars. I was kind of shocked, so I had to, I couldn't really take video, and I had to get it really fast and I had to make sure that I held on to it so you can see all of this right here all of this was have been gotten over the past few weeks and so um, that's what I've been been kinda doing is getting these games uh, just kinda waiting on the prices and everything so uh, yeah the ones I'm really happy to see though are Wario World, right there, the Wario World game, and then like uh, Mario Striker Supercharged, if I can put it on the camera, that one, and then uh, some of the Pokemon game ones down here, like the Pokemon Red. I haven't seen that one out in the wild yet, so I was really glad to find that. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I know this is going to be a really long video once you get this point, but thank you for staying with me in this video, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you can. Rate, comment, or subscribe if you guys want to. You guys don't have to. But uh, be sure to stay in touch for the next episodes. Uh, I think the next episode after this is going to be 13. And make sure to watch the other 11 episodes after this. So, uh, alright guys. Make sure to stay in touch and keep watching those videos. And uh, peace out guys.